Hello mga kausapang pantahanan! Happy Family Week po sa ating lahat! At welcome to Usapang Pantahanan Family Month Episode 4 in partnership with Fairview State Communication Council. Ayan, at ito'y pinamagatang MMK sa yung Family Tree. Kamusta na, Mami Narlin? Happy Family Week sa iyo at sino nga ba ang ating guest for today? Happy Family Week, Sister Fem, Mami Fem, at sa lahat po ng aming mga fans. Ngayong araw po, ang ating pag-uusapan ay pinamagatan nating MMK sa inyong Family Tree. Featuring Mami Marilu Padaranga Edus. Mami Marilu currently lives in Hawaii with her husband of 36 years named Brother Rodelio Edus. They serve an 18-month mission in the Philippines as Area Executive Secretary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in 2018. They are currently service missionaries in the Remote Operations Center in Honolulu, specializing in family history work and are also gospel doctrine teachers for adults in the EWA First Ward. Brother and Sis Edus are blessed with three children and two grandchildren whom they consider as their most precious treasures in this life and in eternities. Let us welcome, dear friends, Mami Marilu Paderanga Edus. Enjoy! Hello, hello, Mami Narlene and Mami Fem at sa lahat ng taga-subaybay, masugid na taga-subaybay ng kausapang pantahanan, Aloha! Ako po ay si Ginang Marilu Paderanga Idos na taos puso at masayang bumabati sa inyo at nagpapasalamat sa pagkakataong ito na makapiling namin kayo sa isang uh, kabanata nitong uh, kausaping pantahanan na napakahalaga lalo na sa ating mga uh, naging uh, tagasunod o taga masid sa pandemya na nagaganap at napakaraming bagay ang ating uh, dapat uh, matutunan sa mga pangyayaring ito. So, yung inyong napanood na clip uh, earlier, ang title nun actually ay Connect and Belong. And I hope na gustuhan nyo yun. You know, when we discover who we are, 
in relation to each other, we think differently, we act differently, and treat other people differently. This video actually was used to kick off the 2018 Roots Connect and is a very powerful reminder about the power of connection. Connect and belong. And yung pagkakataon na makita natin ang kahalagahan ng connection sa bawat isa, hindi lang sa ating pamilya ay napakagandang simulain. Okay, simulan natin dun sa last episode na binigay ni Ma'am Sharon uh, last time. Uh, gusto kong uh, gamitin na uh, parang springboard yon dun sa ating uh, discuss ngayon. Dalawang bagay ang uh, gusto kong i-emphasize sa uh, oras na ito na napakahalaga din para sa inyo. Kaya gusto kong maging uh, karapat-dapat itong oras na ito. Mag-review tayo a little bit about uh, what she talked about at uh, uh, unang-una, ang goal, ang pinaka-goal unang-una natin is to add first four generations to your family tree. So, paano natin gagawin yon? Merong isang uh, website na nabanggit nga ni Ma'am, Mami uh, Sharon Perez, familysearch.org. So, unang-una, we need to sign up or sign in sa familysearch.org. Uh, pwede kang mag-sign in uh, kahit na hindi kaya uh, miyembro ng The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as a guest. And uh, you can use that. But you need to uh, use, if you are a member of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you can sign in or create an account using your uh, church membership record which will be your user and sign in with a user ID and a password. Now, if you do not have a church account again, uh, you will need to create one. You should have your church membership number handy when creating this account. Now, let me show you my four generation. Okay. This is what you call a fan chart, and you can see that uh, I am at the center, my father and mother, and uh, the, uh, my, the, my grandparents on both sides, and so on. I have at least uh, four generations there updated, and that is uh, the, the, the main thing that uh, Mom um, Sharon talked about last time. So that's... Uh, first one that I need to uh, call your attention. So, first generation, that's you. So, begin with yourself and your uh, data should have um, profiled from the information you entered when you created your account. So, each family search record is assigned a unique uh, seven character ID number. Okay, the living person's information is confidential and can only be viewed by the person who created the record. Okay, so that's how uh, we probably learned that last time. Now you need to, the next slide uh, that Mam um, Fema is showing is you need to open and expand your record view. So you need to click on your bubbled name or the word person at the bottom of the index card. So once you uh, click that, you will go to the next page and then you need to scroll down to family members section and click, if you're married, add spouse. So after you add your spouse, be sure to read the identifiers at the top of the screen so what are those identifiers add spouse name 
uh, first name, last name, and so on, male, female. So those are the identifiers. So add the spouse information, full name. Um, name should be entered as the individual's birth, birth name. Important dates such as date of birth, date of marriage, uh, list places, okay? And the standardized dates and places allow the computer system to more easily search the database. Then add living parents. Then add deceased relatives. So, ito na yung pangala, Lolo, Lola, kung um, they are already deceased. So, adding deceased uh, relatives, this is where you discover your deceased ancestors. And uh, the way I did this, is, did this was when uh, my parents were still uh, living, I asked them about the, that um, information. So, the ancestor's name, the same information I did earlier. Okay. Now, uh, you've been using uh, the find option. You have that uh, option to uh, look for your deceased relatives or ancestor's name. And then, uh, last, okay, we can, then you'll see that there is an ID number, okay, for each of the person that you are adding. Then, once your four generations are completed, as much as you can, great. Now, you can add your children. So, your children's name. And uh, normally, your parents, you, you, you'll be go, going uh, literally. But for, par for children, you're going vertically. And so, in summary, you need to sign in to FamilySearch.org. Go to Family Tree tab, the tree, find the relationship place on the tree, add living people by birth, uh, name with dates and places, look for deceased relatives under Family Tree tab, and if a record exists, use that record number, add relatives to the tree, if no record exists, add as you would living people. So remember to build your tree laterally, parental units, and vertically for children. Okay, that's a quick overview. You can partner with different uh, groups, okay? Um, there is another slide uh, that um, we have wherein you can, uh, what you can do is you can uh, partner with this group of people and the good news is once you are registered in family search now these are free you can use ancestry.com uh, which is a very valuable um you know portal for you to to really complete your uh, search or your research okay so that's the basic of uh, what uh, we are doing in now, uh, what I'm going to discuss uh, for the rest of my time is one of my passion, and that is storytelling. Um, Mami Fema asked me, um, ano po bang magandang title ng inyong presentation? And yung aking uh, butihing asawa na na napaka lawak ng kanyang kaisipan sabi niya agad oh maganda yatang title yung MMK sa family tree and sure enough you know uh, maalala maala alam mo kaya ang mga istorya ng mga uh, miyembro ng iyong four generations bawat istorya ay mahalaga Okay, so let me um, say something about the story, the stories that we will be able to tell. We should remember, we should tell the story of you. So why telling your story matters? 
first you learn about yourself more by remember remembering and documenting your life every day now there are lessons that we learn in the everyday stories that uh, you know we experience in life um, in fact one of the things that uh, might be a good title for your story is like a day in the life of like my firstborn name is Ligaya so a day in the life of Ligaya or you can use your own name a day in the life of Marilu now you might think na masyado naman yatang um, detalye I can write a day in the life of Mary Lou for a particular month and a particular day. And ang, ang pinaka-purpose nito ay makikita ng ating mga uh, children, ang mga apo, na, apo natin, kapag tayo ay wala na, kung, what was our day like you know, during that time? It, it will be a good representation of what we were. Of what we were. So in, in other words, you are actually curating a living history so as you you know do this living history you are what you are uh, happened to you what is happening right now then you're able to make that connection with people who will be or your children's children who will uh, come after you so yes your everyday life story will be an amazing project and what a good way to do that than, you know, supporting those words with photos, photography. So I, I'm not really good on, you know, taking pictures, but with Facebook as the platform, my, this, you know, this is actually, you know, a, an open invitation for everybody to, to curate your own life history. So why? Why storytelling? Okay, number one, how I process my life experience every day tells me and tells my progenitors what I think. Now, it's important that, you know, people who will come after us will uh, really know how we feel because the, the way we think is also a representation of what we feel so that's number one you want uh, to really express yourself what you feel what you think next no one else no one else can tell your own story there is no another you you are foremost the only person who can tell your story well another probably uh, somebody can do it you know like a biography but still a different perspective is when it's coming from yourself that's number two number three why we should do storytelling it's an opportunity especially for me to write about my children to write about my parents, to write about my grandparents, or the people that I love. I, I want to let my children, you know, of course my children are living, I want to let them know how I feel about them. And what a better way to do it than, you know, do storytelling. I have three children, Ligaya, RJ, and McCoy or Nario. Um, Kalel is uh, what we fondly call him. RJ is a videographer and he started as a hobby but now you know it, he's uh, able to do it as something that uh, he can really uh, give him a good you know source of living something that he enjoys. So something like that, you know, pictures along with the boards will go a long way. And it's a wonderful way to let your children know how you feel, how you love them, how you care for them, how you enjoy um, 
being with them and stories for, uh, while they are growing up. Okay, number four, it's an opportunity to celebrate small wins. You, I want to give context to my photos or to the, if you, like, for example, the photo that I have in the background, the context of that is it was taken in uh, one of my favorite beach, Christmas time in Hawaii, but we have a snowman, but it's a sad man. And it's, it's a wonderful uh, time that, you know, we were able to have our first year reunion in Hawaii. So the context, you know, uh, and how I felt when we were, uh, you know, doing this. And that's the beach, that, that's why, where I injured my knee. <laughs> that's why it's a very prominent beach for myself because it's, it's something very memorable. Okay, number five. Of course, there are many, many things that I want to remember. And writing them down will bless not only you as you read read them again and again, but read and bless other people who will be able to read them. And these are things that I want to remember. And finally, part of what I have become and what defined me is found on those words. And it's found on the stories that I told about myself, about my husband, about my parents, about my children. And there is a healing power in storytelling. There are times that, um, you know, you will remember, maalaala mo nga kaya, uh, during the time, for example, when when my mother uh, got uh, breast cancer, you know, the stories of her uh, pain, of her suffering, you know, as I go back and read about them, uh, there is healing in knowing, you know, how she endured and how she endured it well. And that's something that I want to learn from and I want to experience. So every story matters to family search. I'd like to show this video now, uh, just before I close, about um, how, in summary, how important is every story to family search. I really was <laughs> heartbroken to see my office totally devastated. It was empty. Only the floor was left. Well, I, I cannot depict how, how happy I am, how grateful I am when I received that hard drive. To me, it was an answer to my prayer. I hope that what you'll take away from this is an understanding that I am one of those millions of nameless, faceless people who are wandering the planet, searching for our family and our roots. And I thank God for you, because if not for you, I'm not sure where I would be today.
Okay, so mga kausapang um, kantahanan, um, I hope na somehow nabigyan ko kayo ng spark para simulan. Number one, ang inyong four generations, ang inyong family tree by signing in or creating an account in uh, familysearch.org and that creating your four generations and then uh, second go ahead and start storytelling tell about yourself tell about your the people around you that you love and i i know that uh, this will be a great uh, thing that you'll be able to do great service for generations to come once they learn something about you, it will become also a healing, you know, process on their part. Uh, knowing what defined you as their mother or, or as their grandmother, great-great-grandmother. And I know that this is very, very uh, worthwhile project for all of us to embark. So, aloha to everybody, and happy family week, and enjoy storytelling. Bye-bye! Maraming maraming salamat po, Mami Marilu Idos, sa mga ibinahagi mo sa amin. Talaga namang damang-dama namin. Lahat kami, si Mami Narlene, ang mga kwento mo, no? tungkol, lalong-lalo na tungkol sa mapahalagahan ng storytelling sa buhay ng isang tao at paano makakapekto ito sa generasyon natin. No? I was so touched, Mami Narlene, sa kanyang mga nabang, nabanggit at alam ko, ikaw rin, Mami, at dahil napanood mo na rin, di ba? At uh, yes. siyempre, Mami, ini-encourage tayo ni Mami Uh, Marilu, na tayo po ay uh, gumawa ng journal, no? journaling o storytelling. At marami sa atin, Mami, ang medyo diskumpiyato. <laughs> Kasi mag- magsusulat. Alam nyo, Mami, sa cellphone lang pwede ka na mag-journal. Eh. Pero ano nga ba ang pwede nating ilagay na karapat dapat o worth sharing pagating sa ating storytelling sa ating mga journals. No, Mami Narlene? We, you can uh, write your thoughts no, in a, in a uh, notebook or even in our own cell phones. At Mami, ano nga ba ang mga pwede nating ibahagi? No? Number one is to write down your goals each day. Yan, isa sa mga tip na nakuha namin, Mami Narlene. Kasi nga daw, Mami, when we write our goals each day, uh, magiging inspirasyon yan sa atin. Di ba, Mami? At kapag ka ito ay nabasa ng ating mga susunod na henerasyon, kunya, wala ka na dito sa mundo, nabasa nila yung journal mo, na ito pala ang goal ni Lola, yan, o ni Mama. Ako, napak- magandang tularan, magandang ehemplo ka sa mga susunod na inerasyon. Okay? Ayan, Mami. And of course, not just for the generations, but of course, for you. Sa sarili mo. Mm-hmm. Nagiging malinaw sa'yo ang goals mo. Merong patutunguhan yung buhay mo. Hindi ka malulungkot kasi merong kang goals sa buhay. Yan. Yan ang isa sa mga journal idea mm-hmm. to make you feel better. Lalo na ngayong pandemya. Ayan. And number two, Mami, ano naman ang pwedeng ilagay? Number two, daily log. No? Ito yung we write everything that we do every day. Now, this is literally a handwritten record of what you've done at any given time. So, kahit anong ginawa mo sa mag-araw sa maghapon, isulat mo. No? Tips to daily log, okay? kumuha ka ng maliit na notebook. Yung, yung minsan tawag nila doon tickler. 
ba? Diba? Mm-hmm. Or kung gusto mo kung malalaki naman ang sulat mo, kumuha ka ng medyo medium size na notebook na medyo magaan lang. Hindi mo kailangan magbigat. And then, write anything that happens to you throughout the day. Sulat mo lang. Pa, kung ano ba nagawa mo, anong pinuntahan mo, anong nakita mo, anong nakakatawa. Pa, just jot stuff down or draw pictures or record them as detailed um, notes. Pa, so, wala kang gagawin kundi sulat mo lang. Minsan, kahit nakakatawa, okay, mag-drawing-drawing ka. So, hayaan mo lang siya. O, then, gawin mo rin yun every day. Pa, lahat ng nangyari sa'yo, isulat mo lang. Anything under the sun. Walang walang magagalit sa because that is your own journal. Yes. Mm-hmm. At siyempre, mami, isang bagay din na pwede nating isulat sa ating journal is mga things or oh, three at least three things you're grateful for. Alam mo? Yeah. I think this is what we call gratitude journaling. Oh. Lalo yeah, pasasalamat. You, yes, lalo oh. na if you're down and you have ex- mm. you're experiencing something na mabigat sa buhay mo. Pagka nilista mo mm. pala lahat ng mga bagay na meron ka, blessings, no? things that you're grateful for, na outweigh yung mga negative things na nangyayari sa buhay. Correct. Yes. So, it's another way on how we can, you know, unwind <laughs> and think of positive things. Yeah. Ah, ngayon, Number four, mommy. What are other things that you can uh, write? So, going back to yung sister, so going back to yung number three, hindi lang lista ng utang ang sinusulat natin daily, ha? Mga <laughs> kapatid, <laughs> lahat na magaganda at pasasalamat ay dapat isinusulat din. Oo. Okay, eto naman ngayon. Ang number four ay journaling for problem solving. Alam niyo, talagang maraming problema sa mundo. Wala ka talagang magagawa because pag walang problema, ano pang dahilan para mabuhay tayo, di ba? Mm-hmm. There are many problems that may crop up every now and then. And you feel it is too big to handle. And of course, by journaling or by writing them down, you will put these problems uh, in black and white will help you minimize that big problem that you are facing. It may not mean it will go away. Mm-hmm. But when you saw them written, you will see that they aren't as big as it seems in your head. Okay? So, tip natin para pagsulat ng inyong mga problem journal para makatulong on how to solve it. When faced with challenges, write on a fresh page. May magong page talaga. In your journal and write out your problem as a question at the top of the page. Halimbawa, binigyan ka ng promotion. Ilalagay mo doon that you were given a promotion, tatanggapin ko ba o hindi. Of course, from there, isusulat mo ngayon yung mga pros and cons. Malapit ba sa bahay ko? Hindi na ba ako magta-travel na matagal? Diba? Or ito ba'y malayo? O it will take me, uh, I have to buy a car? Or I have to ride ganito? Yan, mga yun ang mga bagay-bagay na isusulat mo. Because from there, it will help you decide to accept or not the position. Okay? The idea of doing this is for you to find a solution to your problem. Kaya nga minsan, kahit sa pagpaghahanap ng boyfriend, isusulat mo yung pros and cons ng mga magiging boyfriend mo. Sino maraming maganda katangian, edi doon ka. Diba? Nakakatulong sa paggawa ng desisyon. Yes. So, importante talaga yung pagsusulat. Mm-hmm. In connection, diba, Mami, Pem? Yeah. In connection with that, yung number five, journaling for stress. Kasi di ba pag stress, mm-hmm. you're also in experiencing problems. Kasi stress yes. na eh, di ba? Ang, ang mind mo scattered. Oh. Parang hindi ka makapag-isip ng mabuti. Pero when you do the journaling, when you are stressed pala, nakakapag-isip ka ng maayos. Kasi instead na yes. ipukong mo sa ibang tao yung galit mo, yung stress mo, Doon sa mm-hmm. journal, may, uh, ano mo, may express mo kahit pa paano. Oh. Kahit na anong sabihin mo, mm-hmm. wala kang ma-hurt eh. <laughs> oh. Diba? Kasi na-express mm-hmm. na sa sa papel, no? Yes. And of course, maganda yung mga realizations, I'm sure, oh. when you are uh, journaling for stress. Kasi, uh, base sa mga nabasa ko, mami, it will, it's ha- it has a therapeutic effect. 
sa isang tao. Yeah. When we write the stress things that are happening in uh-huh. our And I think uh, uh-huh. doon mo na rin na masusulat kung ano yung pwede mong gawin para mawala yung yes. stress na yun. Yan. And last but not the least, uh-huh. mommy. And and, 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 and and may add, mommy fam, and when you look back doon sa mapay na susulat mo, Hmm. matatawa ka na lang hindi man pala dapat ma-stress bakit ko ba in-stress ang sarili ko di ba? Yes. Yun yung mga bagay na nakakatulong sa atin to make our thing or make life a little bit uh, happier and easier hmm. Okay, ang number six What's the best thing that happened today? Yan Hindi naman po lahat ay a bed of thorns ika nga may mga bed of roses dyan So we always write down what were the best things that happened to you today. No? Writing the best event in your life in a day, this is a powerful, um, uh, powerful, uh, this is powerful because it forces you to shift your focus onto something positive <coughs> prior to dozing off to sleep. Alam mo ninyo, pag natutulog tayo na maraming alalahanin, maraming iniisip, hindi ka nakakatulog paikot-ikot ka talaga sa bed at minsan sasabihin mo, bakit ba ako nag-iisip? Wala naman ako magagawa. But when you write down all the good things that happened to you on that day, makakatulog ka na mahimbing kasi marami ka palang dapat ipagpasalamat. No? Mas masarap ang tulog mo kasi lahat na magagandang bagay na nangyari sa iyo ang magre-register sa iyong mind instead of the negative things. No? Halimbawa, sa isang araw may nagawa kang maganda, isulat mo. Ay, nakakreate ako ng YouTube channel. Ayan, isulat mo yan. Ay, nakapagbigay ako ng mga old clothes ko doon sa mga nangangailangan. Isulat mo yan. And that will attract positivity in your life. So, writing every night all the good things in the day is the best motivation for you to a sweet good night sleep. Uh, yan makakausapang pantahanan no making a journal of your activities problem and dreams will help you or guide you to reach your goals yan and when you look back at your journal unconsciously there will be a smile in your face because you know you are glad that you did it you wrote all these things yan at tama ka mami fam may mapapa, may mababasa ng mga anak-anak natin, mga apo-apo natin, and this will inspire them to do the same thing with their life. Yan, Mami Fem. Yes. Salamat, Mami. Very well said, <laughs> no? Kaya naman, Mami, uh, itong episode na to will help our future generations. Yes. Ay, itong napapanood nila, actually, it's, it's a journal in itself. Mm-hmm. Mapalaman tayo sa mundo na to Mami Narlene, it will stay in the YouTube channel. And yeah, may maiiwan tayo. Forever be remembered by our generations, mm-hmm. no? And mm-hmm. na. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> next week, nako, alam mo Mami, bear na na, ano, October na Mami. Yes, so. October na, syempre, oh, yeah. natin oh. gawin, ano? Meron tayong okay. photo series number 11 at makakatulong yan oo makakasama natin si teacher Leslie Cortez ng Pangasinan no so wow. tutuwa mga ating mga uh, guests kasi they're willing oo. to share kung ano yung mga talents nila at maaring doon tayo kumita eh malay mo ba dito na oh, imagine mo mami fam from a Hawaii Oh, ngayon naman Pangasinan na. Oh, oh sana sa eh. Hello sa mga may ala. Sa Hawaii and to of course. Sa Hawaii, ha? Thank you very much, Mommy Marilu, for oh. gracing the show. You are yes. such a blessing to us and to all. Oh, <laughs> yan. Okay, so Mommy, mga katahanan, mga kausapang pantahanan, happy family week again at oh. kami po dito oh. ay pansamantalang na mamaalam. Dahil next week, magkikita-kita pa rin po tayo. Ito po Opo. si Mami Fem. At syempre, kasama si Mami, ko. Si Mami Narlene. At maraming salamat ulit. Mami Fem, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please include Lalin's Project. Yes. Maraming maraming salamat. Have God bless nice everyone. Time. Mami Fem, take care. Take care too. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Bye.